Shia kind of uh, seduced her into an adulterous uh, relationship where he said he was single when he wasn't, which is uh, weird because it's Sia. Yeah. Can't really picture them together, but all right. And then uh, FKA Twigs, which they, uh, her and Shia had a relationship on and off for about a year. And I guess she's suing him now because he's uh, he was mentally and physically abusive. Uh, and he she also says that he knowingly gave her a STD. So, wow, damn! On top of beating the shit out of you, I'm gonna give you an STD and fucking fuck your mind up. Damn! Wow, dude, it's pretty. Yeah, come on, Shia, you're you're better than this, I think. <laughs> Damn, bro. That fool definitely lost. You know what I mean? First of all, that fool lost his fucking full card. And now the Diego Luna permit card is gone, bro. Gone. As quick as his full card came, it was pulled. Yeah. <laughs> yep. He gets, a, he gets the tad up by also on his stomach. <laughs> we, gotta that, we gotta rip that piece out, fool. That placaso gotta go. Oh. Uh, we're about to make a new episode of Skins. <laughs> <laughs> and my, <laughs> yeah, but uh, hopefully, I know he. Um, I read a little deeper into it. I know right now he's in, he's in therapy and uh, is part of a sober program. So, uh, like me and James were saying off air last night, at least he's not, uh, he's not denying it, and he's, uh, he's trying yeah. to, he's trying to get help. You know. Yes. You know what's you know what's funny was I thought he was doing good for himself and then just the just a small bump this bump in the road got him, dude. Like damn, because it looked like he was doing bad way before all this, and then he kind of bounced back. Now he's going kind of backwards again, but I guess he's still trying. Yeah, I think he he goes through those spouts of you know he'll be clean and sober for a few months and then he'll kind of relapse a little bit and, and start drinking again and and that's when uh i mean uh he he of course has like ptsd and stuff from being abused as a kid and and whatnot but uh, it's not an excuse to, to act the way he, he did uh, and still does but i think that's uh that's kind of his his situation is kind of like a cycle of, of a reoccurring relapse where he's clean and then he'll be and then he'll relapse again and then get clean again. So, I mean, I can understand that's why probably she stayed with him as long as uh, as long as she did for a year or so, um, thinking he was probably going to get better. But, um, you know, I guess he didn't. And uh, I know me and you, Wes, talked about that, uh, how his apology or his acceptance of, of her um, suing him was, uh, was actually pretty... Um, I'm trying to think of the word. Uh, it, it, it mature? Was mature, yeah. A very mature saying, like, yeah, uh, I do apologize for the things that I did to you. And some of the things that you're saying I did, I didn't do or I don't remember doing. And But uh, I do I do know that, uh, you know, I hurt you. And uh, I'm still suffering from, you know, past traumas. So I apologize. So that was a, I think that was an actual really cool thing for him to actually say and, and own up to what he did. Um because most people, uh, especially in the celebrity uh, world, will deny, deny, deny until um, until they're proven um, guilty. Yeah. Well, that's big. Unless, of it. unless you're Johnny Depp and you just get, you know, <laughs> you just get railed into. Uh, yeah, railroaded like to the max. It's insane. Dang. Yeah. <clears throat> Damn. That's his cross to bear. <laughs> All right, and my final piece of news. Um, I don't know if you guys heard about this, but uh, Jackass 4 recently had to stall production. And I think it was just their second day uh, due to Johnny Knoxville and Steve-O having to be hospitalized already with a stunt gone Damn. wrong. Yeah. God. Uh, 20 years of Jackass and these guys are uh, still ready to get hurt, so... You know, <laughs> they're still doing that. <laughs> yeah. Wow! Yeah. I was gonna say that like they're old, like they don't, their body doesn't heal the same as it, as it did twenty years ago, and they're not on drugs anymore. So like, they're feeling everything. Yep, 
uh, Johnny Knoxville is uh, 49, and I think Steve O's 46. So they're no they're no spring chickens. They're not. Yeah. They're not they, old. They probably don't even feel anymore, yeah. bro. <laughs> I wouldn't say they're old men yet, but, uh, you know, the likelihood of them being critically injured now is uh, higher, which is, yeah, you know. They probably built up, a, they probably built up a, a tolerance for this shit, dude. Like, like, and they got it, dude. Like, so many people can, like, get hurt and come back from it, and they're the guys, dude. Like, you know. Well, I'll, tell, I'll say this. Throughout Johnny, or the Jackass's uh, lifespan... Johnny Knoxville has never been a bitch. Like he will do anything and la- and laugh about it. He'll fucking you know break his pelvis and be like, "Yeah, did you see that shit? Like what I you remember oh, the, when I broke my pelvis? Like he doesn't the give a fuck. Yeah, dude. <laughs> he doesn't give a fuck. Uh, so I respect that. And uh, you know, I love all those guys. I grew up with them. Um, and they, you know, if they want to keep the legacy going. Uh, more power to them. Yeah. <laughs> They probably want to do like a thing for Ryan too. Maybe I don't know. Like a, they'll probably do like a small callback to Ryan, or that'd be awesome. In honor, that'd be dope though, for real. Yeah, that's still that's still so weird to me that Ryan Dunn went out like that. Like, uh, the same as uh, as Paul Walker, right? Yeah. Hmm. Pretty conspiracy. Wild. <laughs> <laughs> And now it's time for the weekly recommendations. All right, James, we'll toss it back to you. All right. Um, so uh, my only rec, let's see. my only rec, I only got one, is going to be uh, actually Supernatural. I just finished, uh, they just released the new, the last episode, I think the last 10 episodes of the series on uh, Netflix. Um, I was waiting for those to come on there because I didn't want to, uh, being spoiled by, by streaming services, I didn't want to wait every week to watch a new episode, so I just waited until the whole thing was released on Netflix, and uh, they actually just did that, so I was able to finish that, and uh, I think they ended it pretty good. Um, after 15 years of, of a series, they, they finally ended, which is crazy to me. I think uh, that's pretty awesome for a show, uh, any show to go um, over 10 years and they went 15 so that's pretty cool yep nice yeah, that's it nice uh, I'll go next uh, I got something simple and new and also supernatural but not the the series there <laughs> uh, this one is called uh, Sweetheart on Netflix and I'll say because it's a PG-13 movie of survival horror it does a pretty good job, dude, and uh, and it can't, and it's very slow. But because you go through the surviving part, then like middle ways through this movie, it gets kind of thrilling and horrifying for a PG thirteen movie. I guess you could say sort of like a Super Eight, like a teenage Super Eight, I guess in a way. Because uh, I guess the theme is that this girl gets in a boat crash and washes up ashore on a remote island and this monster comes out at night and it's pretty good dude for a PG-13 uh, type movie it's called Sweetheart uh, and it has a 95 on Rotten so if you guys want to confirm if you would like it uh, you guys should check it out it's pretty dope I thought 95 nice. right wow uh, and I'll pass it to uh, Diego so I have two this week um, I recently just bought uh, Death in the Family. For those who don't know, Death in the Family was uh, the first uh, comic book where fans could either um, kill or save Robin. And so uh, I just bought this movie, which is a, it's a weird. It's a kind of a weird one because it's it, it's an interactive one, so you get to pick and choose which uh, scene you want to watch. And um, and what route the story goes, so it's definitely a fun, um, fun short movies. Uh, really recommend this if you are a Batman fan. Uh, I I purchased it online, but um, you guys could buy the physical copy too. The physical copy, uh, I 
think comes with some I forgot what it comes with but um, yeah you totally should uh, watch this movie uh, I really enjoyed it and like every DC anime that they do it, it's perfect uh, and then my second one which is streaming on Netflix is Every Time I Die ah. fucking amazing love this movie um, watched it on the way to Big Bear actually nice everyone going to Big Bear huh <laughs> so it was amazing dude I mean uh, it uh, it definitely it definitely got weird but then it kind of was like um, I don't want to spoil anything for anybody that doesn't want to watch it but, or that hasn't watched it but it's a definitely good watch uh, very uh, supernatural movie I guess you yeah. could say that so yeah go definitely watch it uh, streaming for free on Netflix And then, uh, yeah, and then watch uh, Death in the Family, Batman movie. Go watch yeah. it. It's amazing. Boom. Very supernatural vibes right now. <laughs> <laughs> it kinda, uh, you, you know what? This movie kind of gave me, like, the butterfly effect kind of thing. Ah. Uh, psychological a little bit? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Butterfly effect is... Uh, The Aston Kutcher film is very yeah. un underrated, in my opinion. Yeah, oh yeah, it really is, dude. It's a great movie. It's so good. But yeah, that just leaves me, right? Yes. Yeah. All right, so I've got uh, two wrecks for you guys this week. Uh, my first one is I randomly caught uh, a little film from 2018 called Arizona, starring Tanny McBride, Rosemary Duet, and Luke Wilson. Uh, I went into this blind. I had never heard about it. And man, it is so fun. It's a very dark comedy, like thriller. Um, and all I can really say without giving away too much is Danny McBride plays a serial killer maniac. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I know, you know, he helped write, uh, pen the, the script for 2018's uh, Halloween. I think he helped do all of the this trilogy that we have coming up uh, within the next few years. But um, we obviously know he's a big horror fan. He was in um, Alien Covenant uh, as well. And he is so good in this movie. I think uh, stealing a word um, from Diego, uh, Danny McBride is very multifaceted. And I love him. And Arizona rules. So you guys should watch this. It's available on HBO Max uh, right now. Nice. nice. What is it called again? Sorry. Arizona. Arizona on HBO Max. Sick. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> HBO Max is killing it, bro. Yeah, I just got into it now. I'm, so. Sponsor us. <laughs> I'm excited that Wes is dropping more shirts from the HBO because I absolutely haven't really searched on there. So sick. Nice. You haven't uh, you haven't dug in well. I have another one well, for you yeah. on HBO Max. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, the show Euphoria recently uh, they released a, uh, a Christmas um, episode uh, that's a standalone it's a Rue part one um, so I wanted to wreck that because it's beautiful beautifully written um, the dialogue is so intense and I, I it made me go back and, and binge watch the entire first season and yeah so I'll just wreck um That special Christmas episode and then the entire show, Euphoria, because it's fucking yeah. brilliant, dude. Okay, okay. So on Friday, I got to go back to work, and um, one of the um, customers that came in actually recommended that to me. <laughs> I just hadn't had the time because I was go uh, I went to work on Sunday and I go I went to Big Bear on on Saturday, but um, I'm definitely gonna make an effort to watch it tomorrow morning. Yeah, it is. Uh, it is. It's something, man. Check it out. And uh, Tiny too. And uh, James, right. finish this series, man. What are you doing? <laughs> no, I know. Yeah, it's so good. It's so good. It it it, it makes fucking uh, thirteen reasons why like cry in the corner. Yeah, it's so good. Thirteen reasons <laughs> cry was like is nothing compared to this, dude. <laughs> yep. Oh man, uh, are we ready? For the, this glorious the main, main focus. focus. Let's do this. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. 
And now for the movie focus of the week. 